Well, the book is really that uh, long-term, uh, 50,000 feet view of Operation Enduring Freedom Philippines, which began, it depends on, on when you want to, you could say it actually began slight, shortly before 9-11, what became OEFP, and ended in February of 2015. So I'm taking this long-term view of, of it. I got interested in it because I'm um, also a reserve officer, and I was called up in 2011 uh, to go to U.S. Special Operations Command who, to their history office who sent me over to the Philippines uh, to do a historical collection mission and then to come back and write a classified history of OEFP. So I spent a few months in the Philippines and I went to pretty much every site we were at and I talked to hundreds of people and came back and wrote a classified history um, and then talking with uh, Dr. Wright, who runs Combat Studies Institute, he, was asked, he asked me if I would be interested in writing an unclassified history of OEFP, or Combat Studies Institute. And I was interested in this because what I found was a lot of the classified uh, material was really only, it wasn't central to the importance of what I saw as the success of OEFP. So I, I did want to, I, th I thought a, an unclassified version, one that would be available to most people, would be very useful for commanders for uh, understanding that type of war and just the public in general uh, wanting to understand what happened in the Philippines.